night to be able to take a second straight game, continue to build the momentum of the early season. How do you feel the team performs when you go out and shut out the opponent on uh, just your second night of the season? Um, I'm very happy. I'm very happy that the guys are coming coming together. You know, it's a good start, no doubt. And uh, last night, I thought uh, it was a good game, a good uh, offensive game. The wind was, was blowing out. We hit three home runs. But uh, tonight, I think this, this young gem, uh, gentleman right here set uh, the tone for us. He, he did a good job pounding the strike zone and uh, commanding his pitches. A good fastball tonight. And, and then we came up with some uh, big hits that gave us the lead. And he was comfortable you know, going forward for our bullpen. What was working early? Because you guys had success out the gate and just felt like it kept moving, kept building. When do you know that it's going to be a night like that very special? Uh, I mean, I, my guys set the tone also. My fastball was working early in the game. Uh, all my pitches worked very well. I was able to throw them for strikes, so went well. How important is that early season success, too, to be able to feel like you can pitch at this level when you're you know, weak in the season? It's awesome. I took uh, spring training very seriously, worked on all my pitches, and I had a great turnout in my first outing, so it's awesome. Coach, when you see the team continue to build and grow and develop, you've talked about it already, but with this actually performance uh, to, to build on, to see the concrete evidence when you're out there on the field rather than just at practice or working with the team in drills, how rewarding is that? Well, it's very rewarding. I tell you, these guys, They've been working hard, like Jordan say, since spring training. So they came uh, with a goal, and they're pulling for each other. I think we have a really good chemistry inside the clubhouse and out there too. And we have some good leaders in this team, and and that helps. You know, they're, they're like my extension. So they don't have to hear from me. They, they they hear from each other. They feed off each other, and it's good to see that early in the year. And, and we, we're good to we're off to a good start. But I, I expect the team to be the same when, when things are not going well. If that's the case, then we have a, a, a serious case here. We're, we're um, making a statement early. You know, last year had to be crazy because it was the inaugural season. Everything was new. And I know there was a lot of roster turnover, but can you compare your one year to and how this is all starting right now? Yeah, you know, last year uh, we had a lot of players that jumped the level. They came from Kingsport to Columbia, full season for the first time. Most of the guys that we have here came from Brooklyn. Some of them played in in, the, in college. Uh, in Michael Pius played in the World Series and not only played there, but he actually won the World Series. So guys that have a little more experience, you know, it's like they, they're used to playing in front of fans and, and that makes it a little easier. You know, not to say that some of the guys that we had last year, they, I mean, not to take credit away from them, they, they moved uh, uh, to the next level. We have some guys that, that moved to the next level and not only to the next level, we have four guys that actually made it to double A. So that's uh, rewarding because at the end they were able to get it. Yeah, that was awesome. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you. <laughs>